Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to knit this very easy scarf or cowl. And it's a two row repeat, so let's get started. To knit this very easy scarf, I'm working with a chunky yarn, Bernat Softy Chunky, and 8mm knitting needles. And I'm going to start by casting on 18 stitches. And I'm going to use the long tail method. I have a video that explains this better. I'll put the link below. So I'm going to go ahead and cast on 18 stitches. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've cast on 18 stitches. And because I use the long tail cast on, this is the equivalent of a knitted row. So I'm going to start with a purl row. On every purl row, the first four stitches and the last four stitches will be knitted and then the 10 stitches in the center will be purled. So I'm going to knit four stitches, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've knitted four and now I'm going to purl 10 and I'm going to knit the last four. So I'm going to purl, I'm going to bring my yarn over to the front and I'm going to purl 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm going to knit the last four stitches. So knit one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to turn my needle and I'm going to knit it all the way across the row. So knit every stitch all the way across the row. Okay, I've knitted all the way across the row. So it's a two row repeat throughout the pattern. So those four stitches will be knitted, those last four stitches will be knitted, and these will be purled. So knit, 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 knit. Bring the yarn over and purl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I have four stitches. Bring the yarn back over and knit the last four stitches. One, two, three and four. Okay, so that's how it looks on the purl side. And on the right side, you can see we're getting a border and the knit in the center. And I have one here that's finished and this is what it will look like. You'll have a border on both sides and then the knitted section in the middle. And you just keep repeating those two rows over and over until you have the scarf the length that you need it. 
and then you go to cast off and to cast off you simply knit a stitch you pull the previous stitch over and off the needle so knit a stitch pull the previous stitch over and off the needle and you'll just continue that across the row And then you'll just cut your yarn and pull it through that last stitch. So you could make just a plain scarf like this, and it could just be a plain scarf. Or you could gather it up at the end and form a curved scarf. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Thread the yarn end into a needle. And you're just going to pass through that last row of stitches. Now I'm passing through every second or third stitch until I get to the end. Pull that through. And that's what it'll look like. So I'll pass the needle over in the other end like that. And then weave your yarn end back and forth into the finished work. Like that, I have both of my ends gathered up. And then to wear it, you just place it around the neck and fold it over. And if you like, you could put a button on here and leave this open a little bit to form a hole for the buttonhole. Or you can close it. And here are a few pin. examples of shawl pin closures, and I will put a link below for the videos on how to make your very own shawl pins and it's very easy so you can find that link below this video thanks for watching bye for now